When it comes to culture and education, both the East and the West have different ways of doing things. Want to be knowledgeable about these differences? Hi, welcome to Global from Asia TV series. I am Laika and today I will be discussing about the key differences between the East and the West in terms of culture and education. If you want to know about these differences, please stay tuned and keep on watching. To begin with, let me define first where this Eastern world or Western world really is. So, the Eastern world is comprised of the nations in Asia and Middle East, while the Western world is comprised of North and South America, Europe, Australia, and of course New Zealand. So, they say that the main differences, I mean, the main difference rather between these two worlds is that the Easterners are seen to be more conservative and traditional than the Westerners. So they say that um, since the Easterners are more conservative, they do not actually talk openly about topics that are taboo for them. Um, unlike in the Western world, they can openly express their thoughts, their feelings, because they are more liberal and practical in most ways. So let us um, discuss uh, in this part the key differences in terms of different aspects. So um, in terms of religion, for the Easterners, they are, I mean, the most common religions there are Hinduism, Buddhism, Shintoism, Jainism, uh, Taoism and Islam. While for the Western world, uh, the most common religions are Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. Those are the th three things that are the most common in terms of religion for the Western world. So when it comes to expressing feelings, the Easterners are more conservative, so they tend to cover their feelings uh, because of tact and good manners and most of them do not want to hurt other people when they express their feelings especially anger but uh, for the westerners they are more open to express their feelings so when they uh, whenever they are angry or whenever they are overjoyed they actually express more and show what they truly feel or what they truly think in terms of family and decision making for the Easterners, the elders are actually the leaders of the family. So everything that has to be decided on, the elders would be the ones to um, decide whatever step to do. So um, this is, this is um, contrary to the practices in the West where each individual can decide for their own. Uh, for their own. So... Uh, it is also evident in the Eastern world that the children would take care of their parents when they grow old. However, this is um, not common in the Western world. Lastly, when it comes to marriage, uh, the arranged marriages are actually common in the Eastern world. Uh, they believe that love comes after marriage. However, this is different in the West where they believe that love comes before marriage. So they don't actually practice um, arranged marriages. So for the Eastern, for the Easterners rather, uh, the arranged marriages are done by the parents or the elders in the community or in the family. So that is what makes these cultures different from each other. See how these cultures vary? Now, let's proceed with the education systems between the two. Number one, creativity versus hard work. So for the Westerners, they value more on creativity. So they have different styles that would apply to each uh, individual. And then for the um, Easterners, they are more rigid in terms of their education system so 
it it actually gives more value to hard work so they say that nothing is really difficult when you practice so hard and because of this the Asians or the Easterners actually um, become more profitable second we have participation versus reception so the Westerners are more inclined to uh, have their students participate in the discussion they want their students to think critically so they are more open to any ideas that would come from the student so it's not just a teacher student uh, kind of flow where the teacher would just um, say the topics and then discuss about it and uh, unlike the ones in the east they actually uh, have this reception kind of uh, learning where the students are more likely act as receivers of information it's not too interactive unlike the ones in the west okay so lastly in terms of special needs they have inclusion versus isolation so in the west when a child has um, special needs the child is actually still included in the normal class so unlike in the east the child is isolated meaning there is a different class for that special child or for that um, child who needs special attention so they see this as something that is unbiased but is only practical so they think it works best for the child so that's it i hope you learned from this um, episode so this is how the east and the west differ from each other when it comes to education and culture so actually we really cannot compare these two both are unique in their own ways however it is our responsibility to adopt to these cultures since we already know the key differences now it is your turn what do you think of the differences between the East and the West in terms of culture and education? Which one is your favorite? So in the blog post below, you will see a blog section there where you can cast your vote. And also you can read about the other hot trends from our other readers. So please check it out. We have a free infographic that our designer Alan has worked on for days. Can you believe it's actually free? So just check it from the blog post below and you can download it and even share it with your friends. So check it out. And of course, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Laika and I will see you in the next videos. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and also check out our Instagram at Global From Asia. Thanks again and see you soon. E-commerce like over eight years.